All right, great. Uh, in this video, we said we're going to look at a uh, confidence interval. So we're going to build, build on what we discussed in the uh, in the previous video for for coefficient estimates. Estimates. Cool. So this is uh, confidence intervals for for coefficient estimates, right? We said in the previous video it was a bit technical. This is going to be, yeah, it's going to be technical as well. Um, but I hope you, I hope you'll be able to to keep up with what I, what we're discussing here because there are some germs that even if you do not know the equations, I think the germs that we're discussing they are very important if you want to get into machine learning. They are very very important. So now, and and don't even worry about the equations anyway because we'll be using tools like R. That will do all the crunching in the background but the interpretation what does it mean when you see a standard error when you see a standard error r is not going to tell you what it means so you need to know what it means uh so cool so here let's look at confidence intervals right so standard errors can actually be used to compute our confidence intervals so let's say a 95 percent confidence interval if you've heard of anything like that someone saying 95 percent confidence interval what does it mean what it basically means is that it is a range range of values that's the first thing so it's a range of values because it's an interval so what about the 95 confidence so it's a range of uh, range of values such that with 95 percent probability with 95 percent probability um the range the range uh will contain will contain the true unknown value known value so basically we're saying oh there's a value that we do not know but if we create a 95 95 confidence interval somewhere in there somewhere in there the true value would we have 95 percent probability that the true value is going to be in there that's basically what we're saying right so the range is defined in terms of um, a lower and an upper limit from the sample data. Cool. So for linear regression, the 95% confidence intervals they are given by this. For beta, for beta, beta naught. So beta naught is given. So for beta naught is going to be. The 95% confidence interval for beta naught is going to be plus or minus two standard errors of my beta naught. And then for beta 1 is going to be uh, beta 1, the estimate plus or minus two times standard error beta 1. Standard error of the estimate for beta 1. Basically, that's the, the those are the confidence intervals, right? And someone might be like, "But why these two? If this two is associated with the uh, the ninety five, there's a way of calculating the two. But for now, for now, let's park it. Let's just look at um, because anyway, if you want to calculate standard intervals again in R, R can do that easily for you. Okay, so what does this mean? What does this mean? Where is the range here? Let's rewrite this. What it is basically saying is the true value, the true value of beta naught. Remember the true value, which is the beta naught. If we create the 95% confidence interval, it means this beta naught is somewhere, the true value of beta naught is somewhere between beta naught, the estimate, minus 2 S standard error of the estimate beta naught, right? And beta naught plus um, two standard error of beta naught that's basically what it's saying plus or minus this plus or minus it's basically saying this is going to be the lower limit and this is going to be the upper limit this is going to be the upper limit this is the lower limit and somewhere in between these two numbers that is where we are where there is 95 percent probability that our true beta naught lies between these two numbers same applies for our beta one this is basic this thing here this confidence interval is basically saying the true beta one lies between these 
these uh, limits the lower one being given by by this and the upper one being given by that that's what so it's saying with 95 percent probability the true beta one is going to lie between these two values here somewhere in between the between those two values there right so with our advertising data the 95 percent confidence interval for beta not is going to be when you calculate the se and stuff like that and then you put the beta notes that we would have gotten from that we would have gotten from um that rs from minimizing rss you are going to see that um the 95 percent confidence interval for beta not is this 6.130 7.9935 and then the one for beta naught is 0 0.042 to 0 0.053 cool so which means with 95 percent probability our true beta naught our true one the true 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 one for the population you remember that one the true one is going to be between them and the for beta one for the population the true one is somewhere between these two values there cool so we can conclude now now that we know that this is where our beta note is going to be remember we had said our estimate is going to be like this right so what can we conclude using using our um, our confidence interval without any tv advertising because it was, it was now sales is related to beta naught plus beta one times tv so without any tv sales this falls away right we know that our without any tv advertising i mean without any tv advertising it means our sales are going to lie between because these are thousands are going to lie between six one thirty thousand and seven nine three five so now with your, with your marketing plan you go there with you go there and then you present to your executives will be like okay guys without any tv advertising i'm 95 percent confident that that um our sales are going to lie between six six thousand one hundred thirty and seven nine three five you see how to interpret now because when you look at it like this you'll be like but what does it mean that's what it means it means that your sales your actual your actual beta note because your actual beta note beta note is going to be sales without a tv advertising that so it means sales without tv advertising lies somewhere between 6130 and 7935 let's interpret for beta one for beta one we are saying we remember when you said beta one it is the unit increase the unit increase in sales unit increase in sales uh Oh no! It is the the increase in sales when uh, the advertising, the TV advertising, increases by by one unit. You remember that, right? So, so with sales is equal to beta naught plus beta one uh, times TV. So we say since this is the x, we say one unit of this x, the TV, is going to result in these many units increase in sales right but here we are seeing our beta node beta one is going to lie between 0 0.042 so you can if you want you can interpret and say guys if we increase our tv bud advertising budget by one rand our sales are going to increase by 0 0.042 or to 0 0.053 that doesn't really sound nice let's use thousands so we say if we increase our tv budget by 1000 our it means our sales are going to increase by 0 0.042 times 1000 that is 42 and 53 units you see the interpretation here very neat and very very clean very neat and very clean because we know that my beta one my beta one times 1000 is going to lie between those two it's going to lie between those two values there i think i hope this part makes sense we've interpreted our our um, confidence intervals right so now um yeah i think since we've interpreted our confidence intervals let me stop the video here and then in the next video we are going to jump on to we're going to look at something like, like uh, hypothesis testing using this the, using what we've learned here so this was just confidence intervals let's take it a step further into hypothesis testing in the next video